Okay, this is a really quick one. These two devices just arrived in the mail. What you're looking at here is the inside of the demo rig, in other words, Lorenzo, which I have listed as needing a hard drive replacement. The problem is that the hard drives are quite expensive now, and I don't feel like paying that for such a common old drive that probably won't last very long. Another thing that really pisses me off is how much solid state hard drives cost versus the capacity and performance. They're not worth it at all yet. Complete waste of money. I found a way I can cheat the system. What the little device does is connect a compact flash card to an IDE port. I have the female version, but male versions are more common if you want to install more than one of them. You can get dual card versions too though. Firstly, we don't need this anymore. As you can see, this device goes right into the IDE port there. It's not complicated at all. This only needs the 5 volt supply, but some cards may require 33 volts, so watch out for that if you're going to play with them. I've bodged the wiring temporarily here, but by the time you see this I will have made a proper adapter for it. My CF adapter has LEDs on it. Seems the device works, given that those have lit up and it shows up as CF card in the BIOS, at least if the BIOS has auto detect capabilities. What is useful is that if I need to copy files for OS installation or driver support, such as the Ethernet card, I can just plug the device into the CF reader on my other machine. Or so I thought. This machine has a compact flash reader. I've never used it. And I've plugged this in. I wonder why my compact flash card isn't working properly. Well, this is why some of the designs that have the little doors that close are probably far better. Hopefully that dust hasn't clogged the pins up, because it'll never fucking work properly if it has. That's... yeah, that's pretty bad actually. The card is fairly quick on read, but writing is disappointingly slow. Access time is strange in that there's often a long delay, but the subsequent access times in that area of the memory are good. I think this must be when it brings that block out of standby, and it further enforces my belief that a file system and controller logic need developing specifically for solid state storage to be used to its full abilities. We can forgive the Pentium 1 and the CF card though, as they're both operating outside of their intended roles here. Windows installed just fine, the card works. To summarise, these devices work. They are perfect replacements for a hard drive in an old machine, as low capacity drives are becoming rare and expensive, and they are quite slow. Remember these machines have a limit on the drive size, which is why these are very, very advantageous in this situation. If you need a smaller hard drive than CF cards will allow, there are IDE to SD adapters, but I don't know how well they work, as I haven't tried one. Ready for the price? Well, the device I bought cost me £1.99 from eBay, and the CF card I bought was a good quality Kingston 8GB one. I must have bought it at the right time, it was £8 from this guy, but the price seems to have gone up a little bit since. Still, it was much cheaper than the hard drives of this size, much more reliable in the long run, and it's a lot easier to set up and tweak. If you're interested in buying one, type in IDE40 to CF into eBay should work. I'm assuming you know how to find compact flashcards for yourself. There are models of the adapters for notebook IDE, in fact those seem to be more common. There's also a few more interfaces out there, so have a look around. In fact, I think the Asus EEPC uses a CF interface in a similar manner to what we're doing here. Hopefully this video was somewhat informative, or at least interesting to somebody out there, and I'd like to thank you for watching it. I'm High Treason, and I will see you later, and maybe you'll actually see me in the next video instead of a bunch of crappy footage I took. It's just